Count On begins with a community desperate for answers. It is the saga surrounding Murphy Village. And over the past days, we've covered two angles of that story. One, the federal investigation that led to several grown-ups having to go to court. And two, the removal of several children from that community. Now, we don't know a lot about the Irish travelers in these parts, do we? You never hear from them. But if you've driven down Highway 25 lately and seen the signs, you know that it is a community that is heartbroken right now. News Channel 6's Stephanie Borman talked with one of the moms today. She has the latest on the developing story, and she's joining us live in our newsroom. Stephanie? Brad, since social services took six minors from Murphy Village, Stephanie Mulholland says many families have left the state in order to protect their children. Now she wants the world to know the type of mothers the Irish travelers are. Stephanie Mulholland says when social service workers showed up at her door with the intentions of taking her 11-year-old, they left empty-handed. That's my whole world. <laughs> and, you know, without her, I don't know what I would do. Mulholland says DSS has run her family from their home in Murphy Village. I'm afraid to stay in South Carolina because I'm afraid they'll pull up at any minute. The Mulhollands have been staying in a hotel in the area, but Landry's medical conditions, which include bladder and colon problems, are part of the reason they can't completely leave town. And I just want to show everybody that this is a daily way of living. This mother says the Irish traveler culture is big on family values and faith. Holy Mary, Mother of God. She says the women rarely let their children out of their sight. But like her daughter, those girls in the state's custody have never known a life without their family or friends. I just miss being there and I miss playing with my friends. Because you can't go outside because you're scared and you just... Mulholland says travelers teach their children right from wrong, just like any parent. Timeouts or take her TV away, take her computer away, her phone, something that she likes, her iPad. While the travelers' lifestyle may be different, Mulholland says they are still people and should receive fair and equal treatment. We're going to stand up for what's right and for what's, what we believe in, no matter what. For now, the Mulhollands don't plan to return to their home in Murphy Village, but say neighbors called them to say DSS was out there again today. The family of the five girls who were removed by DSS are set to appear in court later this week. We have reached out to DSS several times, but a spokesperson says they just can't discuss specific cases. Jenny, back to you.